and welcome to this week's edition of Our Sports Update. Alongside Adrian Fegq, I'm Lana Adams. This past weekend, the men and women's basketball teams geared up for their season openers. The men's basketball team traveled to Georgetown to take on the 20th ranked Hoyas, and we will explain why both teams were more stone cold than Steve Austin. Bernard Pierce is having a phenomenal year. We'll take a look back at just how good he is compared to some other great freshman college running backs. But first, the streak continues. The men's football team vies for their eighth straight win of the season against those Zips of Akron. It was a chance for Bernard Pierce and the Owls to strut their stuff on a national stage. The game was televised on ESPNU. Chester Stewart got the nod at starting quarterback and he made a statement early. Here he is dropping back to pass with a 63-yard touchdown to wide receiver Michael Campbell. It's 7-0 Temple. Akron actually took a 17-7 lead in the second quarter. Off an Akron punt, Delano Green zips his way down the sideline for a 66-yard punt return for a touchdown. Yeah, I definitely can't do that. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the uh, mobile agility anymore. Later on in the quarter, it's Chester Stewart with one of his two touchdown runs. He actually had four total touchdowns in the game. And right before the half, Temple tries going for the sack, but, well, he misses, uh, well, they, they missed three, three tackles, but it's picked off by Temple, and he returns it to the six-yard line. Later on this drive, it's Bernard Pierce who punches it in from two yards out. He had 97 yards rushing on the night. Basically scored 41 points on us a year ago. Uh, it's another spread team. We haven't been great against the spread here of late, and that's a challenge for our, that's a challenge for our defense, uh, most particularly when they run the ball well. When they run the ball well and throw the ball, then they, can, then they have that play-action game uh, that comes off it, which is very difficult to handle. Earning a bowl bid is something some schools might take for granted, but at Temple, earning a trip to a bowl game is plenty of reason to celebrate. Joe Polinski takes a look at how the Isles got here. There has been a culture change for the Temple football team. After coming off an encouraging 5-7 and seven campaign last season, the Owls stepped on the field with a new attitude, a new style, and high expectations. Under fourth-year coach Al Golden, the team is now thinking the two words that every college football program in the country dreams about. Bowl game. The Owls knew that making their first postseason appearance since 1979 wasn't going to be easy. With early losses to Villanova and Penn State, the Cherry and White found themselves in an early 0-2 hole. When that play got going, so did Bernard Pierce. The freshman sensation rushed for 800 yards through five games, becoming Temple's all-time freshman rusher. With the 27-24 win against Navy, the Owls became bowl eligible for the first time since 1990. This season has also seen the longest winning streak by an Owls team in three decades. As much as they are confident about their postseason chances, the team knows there is still much work to be done. We just got to keep playing good defense, good offensive ball, you know, and we just got to come together as a team like we've been doing, you know, just keep playing good football. I really think we just have to take one game at a time and uh, really improve from week to week and uh, take what the negatives what we did the previous week and, and uh, become a, a better team each week. Being bowl eligible is a major accomplishment for the Temple football program. When he asked about how it feels to potentially compete for a MAC championship, the Owls choose to take one game at a time. Reporting for Owls Sports Update, I'm Joe Polinski. It must be the power of the Temple cafeteria food because Bernard Pierce has been absolutely sensational in his first 10 games here at Temple. Check this out. Listed here are Adrian Peterson, Tony Dorsett, and Herschel Walker. These were their total freshman rushing stats. Bernard Pierce has two games left and is already tied with Walker and Peterson with 15 touchdowns. Not too shabby, Bernard. Bernard Pierce will get to shine on the field a little more this week as the Isles prepare for their final home game against Kent State. At 5-5, five and five, Kent State has three less wins than the Isles. 16 seniors will be honored as they play in their final game at the link. Temple's regular season finale has been moved to a morning start so ESPNU can pick up live coverage. Kickoff is now set for 11 a.m. There's a good chance that the winner of this game will represent the East Division in the MAC Championship game. 
The men's basketball team had its first test of the season as the Owls traveled to D.C. to take on the 20th ranked Hoyas of Georgetown. It was a defensive struggle. Both teams put up enough bricks in the first half to build John Cheney a nice new home on Broad Street. And in the second half, as it's the man-child, Greg Monroe, who lays it in plus one. He hit the free throw to put the Hoyas up by three. Off the inbounds pass, it's the big man, Craig Williams, who splits the strings on a three to tie the game up at 42. With the game on the line, it's Greg Monroe as he drives against Lavoy Allen and puts it in for two to give the Hoyas a 46 to 45 lead. Last chance for Temple, it's Luis Guzman who drives down the floor, but he's stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. And the Hoyas escape with his 46 to 45 win. The Owls shot just three for 23 from three and six for 13 from the foul line. There's junior forward Lavoy Allen. The Owls are expecting big things from him this year. We start in the first half when Moore drives to the dishes to Allen for the dunk. He would finish the game with nine points. Later in the period, Juan Fernandez bringing the ball up the court and then drives it to the rim for a tough two. We'll have more on Fernandez later in the shot. But the story of the game was Ryan Brooks. Here's Brooks with a tough shot and the foul. There he is again with the step back jumper and again with a tough layup. Brooks finished with a career high of 23 points, and the Owls will go on to win the game 76 to 56. It's hard enough adjusting to college, but even more so when you are going to school in a different country. Sophomore guard Juan Fernandez, who is from Argentina, is not only getting used to his new home in America, but he's also charged of running the Owls in offense this season. It was leaving my country for the first time, leaving my family for the first time. I thought it was going to be harder than it was. You know, I try not to think about that. I try to focus only on basketball. Being a point guard over there is like a different task than being a point guard for this team. The fact that Coach Dumphy gave me a lot of minutes last year helped me to, to know the game better and be prepared for now, for what comes now. To be honest, I didn't think he struggled too much with anything. Uh, maybe finding his niche on the team, uh, establishing his role on the team, coming off the bench and providing meaningful minutes for us. There's still a little bit too much sizzle. I'd like to replace some of that sizzle with the substance that really good point guards have. I'm expecting him to start and play a lot of minutes. I mean, he's a significant performer for us. Let me say something to you. If he doesn't have a great year, we're not going to. What I did last year helped me a lot, you know, to keep going and, and not say, all right, I wanna, I'm done with this and I don't want to do it anymore. My actual goal right now is to, you know, to get better every day. And the reason I came to America is just to keep learning. You know, I got, I still got three years, and you know, I think this is the best player where I can grow as a basketball player and as a person. So.